Hey guys, this is Eugene the Compton Gardener. We're out here in my front yard and looking at the low quad tree, my golden nugget low quad tree. It's the end of the fruiting season. Have a few more left at the top. So I'm gonna uh, get those when I prune the tree. So while we're out here, because I just want to make a quick video of uh, how I'm gonna bring this tree back down to size or manageable size. I already started uh, working and then I stopped because you know decided to uh make a quick video about it but since i'm going to be working down below bringing it down uh i just these are the tools i chose here which is my lopper and my pole pruner which is about 17 feet so i can reach the top without uh climbing on a ladder um but again i probably won't be doing any too much top work because I'm going to be cutting it down probably about a good two feet so I can reach that with my lopper. Uh, so fortunately because I'm making this video with my uh, with my camera phone, smartphone, uh, I won't be able to uh, show you guys during the process but just wanted to make a quick video before and maybe I'll update after what it looks like but when you're pruning just want to make sure that your tools are clean so I use a uh, alcohol diluted in a spray bottle here and I already cleaned the, the pole lopper over there and uh, you just want to make sure that you cut them at an angle This one, for example, see how tall that one is? It's way too much growth. So I'm gonna come in about this height here. See how it has this other growth right here. I'm gonna come in and cut this part off at the bottom and let this one be the new growth here for next year. So that's about a good three feet worth of growth that's gonna come down bring it back down to size but you want to make sure that you come at it at an angle here don't go straight I don't know if you can see that I want to go straight I want to hit it at an angle so that there's the water hits it, it gets that runoff you don't want to have it too far out from from where you're gonna ultimately have the new growth here so just bring it as close as you can here I'll just clip right there, but I don't know if I'll be, let me see. Oh. Yep, there it is. I'll bring it in a little bit more. I just need both hands for that, but sort of like that. Let's see, off of that. Let's see how much growth is there. So I'll just continue to do that. I was working my way around the tree first, and then just start heading from the top and uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you an update on what it looks like afterwards but all right so there it is and as you can see by the carnage left behind that I have murdered my tree no not for real but I did cut it back by maybe uh, 45 50 percent and the reason I did that is because see how much so much growth I cut off from here but it's early it's like mid spring so what's gonna happen I love it when you're trying to record and someone decides to do work but that's how we do it around here um, so What's going to happen is uh, throughout the summer, before the summer is over, probably going to get another foot or two of growth. I'm hoping it's more of a foot uh, versus two feet because these loquats, they see, I still have some here. 
And I'm just gonna, before I throw all of these away, I'm just gonna pick out the fruit and then get rid of the, the branches. But these loquats, they flower on new wood. You can see like this one here, it's those buds. That's next year's uh, fruit right there. So I'll try to leave on some of those, but I'm gonna get a few more of them uh, before the season, the flowering season go, because like I said, it's gonna leaf out, like how this is. And then where those leaves are next year, it's gonna get those buds on the new growth. So it still has time to heal and to leaf out. It's not that hot, we're only getting about 70s to low 80s. So it's a good temperature. Give it plenty of time to heal up and be ready for the next uh, growing season. And then next growing season, I can still reach my fruit. This is the first year that it's getting a major cut and it's been in the ground for four years. So now that I'm getting full production as much as I want, I want it to keep it at this size. I don't need it getting like the size of that tree over there, right? We're gonna do it that. So unless you guys are a giant, I mean, grow a low quad tree like that size. Me, I'm not a giant, so I'm gonna just maintain it like this. And uh, make sure that the soil is good. You don't wanna do too, too much of a heavy pruning if your soil is dry and the plant is thirsty. It just puts more stress on it, but mine stay uh, nourished and watered. You can still eat fruit. Yep. All right, and so I was able to get away with just using my lopper. I didn't have to really use anything else except for in the middle here where the branch was about two, two and a half inches in the center. That one I had to use uh, this shear here. Sorry about that. Bring it back in focus. Yeah, I had to cut it with this here. But other than that, it's now about what's this? Six feet. Still, still six feet. This is ultimately the size I wanted to stay at, but um, I don't want to bring it all the way back down here. So uh, this is a good height. I can live with this. Whatever you guys decide is a good height for you guys. So let me continue on with this work. Got to harvest all these uh, fruit that's left. Uh, once I get down to the bottom like that, uh, where it's just a few more, there's no sharing going on. That's all for me. All right, y'all take care.